Hi everyone, my name is Miguel de Villa and I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today I'll be presenting a quick tip in SOLIDWORKS PDM, how to use set revision with multi-component revision schemes. Now allow me to show you the context for why I developed this method. Looking at the customer's requirements, and this is a set of requirements that I've seen at many individuals and many companies who utilize a multi-component revision scheme. They have a numeric component, which typically goes from something like double zero to 99, and an alpha component that goes A, B, C, and so on. And they utilize these two components in a single revision scheme as an alpha dash numeric. And this can represent two types of releases. Minor releases that are any revision with a non double zero numerical component, which essentially goes like dash 01, dash 02, A dash 01, B dash 03, and so on. Major releases are any alpha release followed by a double zero, such as A dash double zero, B dash zero zero, C dash zero zero, and so on. When it comes to their workflow, and this is a simple sample workflow right here, any new files coming into the workflow start out with no alpha and just our dash 01, dash 02, and so on. Once they get their first release, they are incremented to A dash zero zero, where they'll stay until subsequent minor releases are required, whereupon they're used in the second, or sorry, third part of the workflow as A-01, A-02, and so on, until they're approved once more and return as B-00. Now, in order to understand why I, this method needs to be used, let's look at why set revision won't work normally. In this particular state that the file is in, it's only set to increment the numerical component by one. Now, let's take a look at this file and run set revision on it. As we can see, it has a data card variable of C-06 and no current revision because I just checked it in. And if I look at the little drop down here, you'll notice that I'm only able to select from increments of just the numeric component even though the state understands that there are two revision components, it does not understand that it needs to increment each of them by different amounts other than what's explicitly stated in the state itself. So in order to fix this, we need to be shuttling these files into different states and each state will be responsible for incrementing a different portion of the overall revision scheme. Looking at the admin tool, let's examine what we need to set up in order to accommodate this particular revision scheme. The revision number is set up such that it has the alpha component followed by a dash followed by the numerical component. Because many of my data card variables have that dash in them, as part of the revision scheme, it has to be in there in the overall scheme so that set revision understands it. The alpha revision component is a simple list of alpha values going from A to um, triple Y right there, standard ANSI revision letters, but I've made this differ by making the first row a null value. This will allow us to accommodate for those situations where we have a dash 01, dash 02, when the file first starts out and before it's a first official major release. The numerical revision component is very similar in that it's a simple string of double digits starting at an initial counter value of 1. Now the numerical revision component is a bit special in that if I have a command or a scenario which resets the counter value to zero, it will go to double zero. This will allow us to accommodate for those situations where we have a major release at an alpha dash zero zero. And now let's take a look at the workflow itself. Here is the standard workflow 
and off to the side, I've created additional states used expressly for the purpose of migration. These transitions don't do anything other than move files from state to state. No actions are necessary. In fact, what we really want to look at is the definition of the states themselves. Let's go ahead and take a look at this state that we mentioned earlier. I've even gone through the trouble of making it the initial state so that any new files that I want to migrate automatically land here and are not mistakenly put in WIP before it's their time to participate in the workflow. On the revision numbers tab, I've correctly stated that the revision number that I want is this one and the revision variable is revision. And now, since this state is only meant to increment the numerical component, I've set it to increment by one and the alpha revision component to increment by zero. Likewise, I have a state here which only increments the alpha and leaves the numerical untouched. And finally, we have a reset to alpha-00, which increments just the alpha and resets the numerical revision component back to zero to accommodate for those major releases. So my process is that I will bring in files here set the numerical component to what it should be, disregarding the alpha portion. Then for all those that require an additional alpha revision, I'll go ahead and shuttle them over to this state right here and set the alpha. And for all those that are major releases, I will kick them over to reset to alpha-00, whereupon I will use set revision to set them to a major release. And once everything's nicely set, I will go ahead and kick all of them back into the approved state where they'll live and continue to participate in the workflow as normal. Now let's take a look at an example of this. Let's test out this workflow on this sample assembly. First I'll make sure they're all checked in as that's a requirement for set revision. And to do this as one big batch I'm going to go ahead and select all and say modify set revision. Now, for this state that they're all in, increment numerical component, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the new revision is set to the correct numerical portion of this revision based on the data card variable. And you might find it useful to sort by data card variable in order to make all these changes. Now, to make things easier, let me right click and select the shortcut set all new revision values to card variable value and you'll see that everything that is purely numeric no alpha is automatically recognized whereas anything that is a hybrid of an alpha and a numeric is not recognized here we have an example of an existing major release see how it's a-00 now this particular file needs to be shuttled into the other um, state. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it as it's not supposed to be revisioned in this particular state just yet. I'm going to go ahead and transition it in a bit. And for these, A-01, it's already correctly set to 01. So there's no need to change that as the numerical portion of the data card variable is already matching. But for everything such as A-02, A-03, and so on, I need to manually set the numerical portion of the revision to match what it says in the data card variable. And I'll have to go down this entire list and make sure they all match. But once I do, I can then go ahead and complete the command and set the revision. That will go ahead and make it so that the numeric portions of the actual local revision is correct. And once I shuttle those files into the following state, it will automatically recognize the appropriate alpha portion of the revision. Now that I've completed setting the new revision tab to the matching numerical portion of the data card variable, make sure not to check update variable since we're going to be doing other steps i don't want to accidentally overwrite the data card variable as it will make the following steps much more difficult i'm going to go ahead and hit ok 
now that I've successfully incremented the numerical portions of the revision, I'll go ahead and move all the ones that need an additional alpha revision to the appropriate state. It's very useful to create an additional row by right-clicking on an existing column, selecting more, and allowing you to display the revision variable itself as a column to sort by, like so. Now I'm going to only select everything that has an alpha revision and a numeric portion for this state transition. Now sorting by the state, I'll go ahead and select everything in the alpha component state and hit modify, set revision, and now because I have already set the numerical portion correctly, it's able to understand and recognize when I right click and hit set all new revision values to card variable value, anything with a B, C, D, and so on in the overall revision scheme. And I'll go ahead and hit OK to finalize and set the revision for all of these components. Now what about that component with an alpha-00? For this component, we'll need to change the state and send it, send it to the one called reset to alpha-00. And remember, in that state, I have it increment just the alpha portion and reset the numerical one to zero. And this is what it's able to recognize right off the bat. And just like that, I've incremented it to the appropriate local revision. And now I can select all of these files and send them back into my regular workflow using another transition ready for everyone else to use. Just like that. And now all these files have been migrated appropriately and will participate in the workflow as normal. This has been Miguel de Villa here at Go Engineer with a quick tip. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.